Welcome along then. We're at round 14 of this F1 manager season with Williams, bringing them hopefully in the next few years back to the elite. And it's getting pretty tasty. Haas are closing in slowly on 15 points now as we tackle P6. And at the top, it's still pretty close. 15 points Ferrari lead by Red Bull. But we've got the Dutch GP, the home of Max Verstappen this weekend and many other drivers. But... Is it time to get back in the points? <clears throat> it's been a while. We've got to get start somewhere. There's no sprint race. It's straight race. It's going to be cloudy. Let's get in qualifying. Let's see what we can do. Fingers crossed we can get there. Come on. So here we go then. We are at Q1. And are we going to be in for a good weekend? We are missing some points for a while. We just seem to not be able to grab any points. So we're going to hope for the best this time round as we are in to Zanfor. And let's just take you through a quick lap. We're going to leave it on two times and see how our first lap looks. It will take a while until we see what the rest of the field do. But remember, we want to try and get through. We've been consistently getting through into Q2. 24-7 and a 24-7. So a very consistent first sector from the lads. Let's see what else we can do. Through that middle sector, 25-0 and a 24-9. So we're actually pretty much level pegging here. And round the final corner, the big sweeping right-hander, we come across the line and we set up with a 111-4 and a 111-4. So very consistent by the Williams team. That's a bit better from a qualifying. We're 1.7 seconds ahead of Zhou Guan Yu, but the Haas coming in with a 10th, which is annoying. And obviously we're going to get ready for a set of soft boots to go back on. Because this is not over yet. Why are we so close together? That is so annoying. We didn't even send them out that close. And now look at this. Luckily Porsche is the car behind. So he's not necessarily going to lose out. We're going to get some great slipstream. But this is not what we wanted. Oh, I mean we're right on the edge. We've got the two McLarens, Sonoda, the two Alfa Romeos. We expect to finish ahead of the McLarens and the Alfa Romeos. But it's Sonoda who could potentially destroy us. I mean, surely Porsche is not going to improve here. Because that is very close. Through the first sector, on a brand set of new softs, we both do improve. 24-7, 24-6, Porsche going quicker. Oh my god, who is that? It's a Ferrari ahead of us. Please get out of the way. I mean, Porsche might get the greatest toe in F1 history here. He's running very close. That's the annoying part. Who is that in front? Leclerc. Sainz it is. And Sainz gets out of the way. Look at these two. How close they are. Albon. Middle sector. 25-0 and a 24-9. So very close. This is not good. I mean, we've got a big gap to Sonoda. Look, three and a half temps. That is rookie mistakes. Sending these out absolutely neck and neck. And as we cross the line, we do improve. We get ahead of Hulkenberg. Paul Cher, of course, didn't improve. It is Albon that improves. Is it going to be enough for Q2? Sonoda, yes, it is. We are through to Q2. And we know what it is. It's used tyre time now in Q2. That is okay. Let's send us out on some used softs. Only 92%. That's okay. And... We're going to get this going. Let's manage Q2. Come on, boys. Can we get to Q3? Hi. Let's send Albon straight. We're going to go early. We're not going to send them. Bang after each other. There you go. Now we send. So, we'll skip through. And we're about to start our lap. Albon is starting. Porsche is starting. Let's go on the two times. Speed it up. Makes us look quicker. Makes us look a faster car. For Williams as well, which is always nice. So Albon and Porsche, what can we do here in Q2? We scrape through in Q1, 24-6, 24-8. Two terms off the pace is Porsche. Can he find some ground later in this lap? That's going to be the question. Through the middle sector, 24-8 and a 25-0. He's a good couple of temps off the pace here. But as we go around on the used set of tyres, Albon is going to cross the line and he's going to set a 111 flat 111085 very much off the pace is Porsche six temps back 
That is painful again. We just can't get the time. And look at that. Seven temps behind the Ferrari. So here we go then. Q2. Final run time. We are only a tenth off getting through at the moment. It's Hulkenberg in P10. I imagine Schroll will improve though. So really we're battling again for P10. What can we do? And noticeably, there's the two Alpines. So come on, time to improve, boys. It would be great to get into Q3 and put us into points projection. Albon, first sector. Why do we never improve on brand new tyres? Never get it. Surely we should be going quicker than the used stuff. Look at that, 24-8, 24-7. Just don't improve. We never do. We should be flying two, three temps quicker a lap. But we never do. And we've got a tenth to Russell. Look at these. There's a group of cars together. I don't think we're going to find it, though. I think we... Oh, we are improving, though. 24-8 through the middle. What about poor Cher? What's he going to do through the middle? 20, I mean, poor Cher. 25-5. Are you joking me? He is well out. What about Albon, though? Is he going to squeak through? He was our closest car, and he's going to come across the line. Where is he going to go? I mean, he didn't improve. I thought he would have improved. And we are out of qualifying. That is frustrating. It's going to be... I mean, I don't care where I am. I know I'm P14. P11. We were a tenth from getting out into Q3. I mean, 11 and 14th is not bad. Let's be serious. We are on a Williams. But it's not where I wanted us to be. A 10-9 in Q2 for George Russell got him through. And it would have been tricky. But Hulkenberg in the Haas getting ahead of us again. That is not what we want. We need some Haas trouble. But we're right near the points. What's going to be the case here? Interesting... I think, well, we're, I think we're going to have to go two-stop. It's showing a, basically a pit stop slower is the one-stop. Do we go both on the same strategy? I feel like I want to actually swap this around. Go on to mediums. I can't. Right. Right, come on. Right, here we go. I think mediums, soft, and soft here. I think we extend that medium lap out to there. And I think we run that kind of way. And it's going to show me... You know, it's not much in it. Right, here we go. Come on. We start P11. We are only one position off the points. That is it. We're bang there. Can we get the points? Let's find out. Here we go then. It is race day. At Max Verstappen's home Grand Prix. But... Oh, I don't like watching the start. I never do. Albon is P11. Porsche is P14. We've got the Haas ahead of us and the Haas ahead of us. It could be exciting. It could be absolutely a nightmare. Round the outside we go. It looks like we've got ahead of the Haas early on here. And we have. We're into P10, but that Haas is right there with us. We've got an Aston Martin ahead of us now as well. And there comes Haas. Look at the pace on that Haas. Jesus. He is so fast. Hawkenberg catches us. Porsche hasn't lost a place yet. P14. But that Haas is very, very quick on this opening lap. And I feel like they've really improved well this season so far. We are bang behind them though. And they're on the mediums as well. So actually we need to clear this Haas. That would be nice to do. It's going to give me the fear going into turn one every lap. That's for sure. So we've just got to... Keep pace here. We're on the softs. A lot of people are going softs compared to the mediums as well. So we've got a chance and we are tucked right behind this Haas at the moment. DRS will be available from the next lap. But you can see just overheating now. But I do want to just try and see if we can launch a move past this Haas. As we're going to start to go to the right hand bend. Low on pack. Oh no. But we're going to top up. Are we going to get the job done down the straight? DRS now enabled, so probably not this time round. We're going to cut back down and top up. So P11 and P14. Can we get ahead of the Haas? 
Here we go, lap four. And that Haas is struggling. He is really struggling on their medium tyres. We're going to do everything we can we, to get Albon ahead. He's got DRS. He's got ERS. He's got all the RS. And he is past Hulkenberg. That is a big move needed here. And we are in to P10. And we're going to now try and just deploy off a little bit. Look after the tyres. We've got yellow flag. Yellow flag. What is that for? VSC. Red flag, red flag as well. Sort of Who has crashed? Oh, there's a Valtteri Bottas in the wall. That is big. Oh, and he's lost it on turn one. Lost it on turn one. On the outside, Bottas is out for the Alfa Romeo. And it is a red flag. Let's take a look what we do then. We are in 10th and 14th with Bottas retiring from the race. Do we want to change tyre? We've done five laps. But, I mean, we, we could just go on a used set, I think, here. And then that medium, 85%. We don't have any fresh mediums. We could go to hards. Or we stay, I mean, three temps a lap slower on them there. I think we go hards here. I think we go a bit longer with Porsche. And see what happens. We're going to have to change the attack when this race starts but it's Valtteri Bottas who is out and here we go deja vu again like they say because it's all going to be down to this first corner and we're going to pause this as soon as it comes available so all systems go back here at Zanvoort as we're racing let's get actually a view on the race and it's Albon P10 we're battling with Haas again Incident involving Bottas and Joe. It was a team battle in the end. No penalties given out there. Porsche's on hard. So let's check what everyone else has gone on. A few people have gone on hard as well. Porsche just losing the place to Magnussen. And there is soft runners out there as well. So a real mix of strategy. And it's going to show. I mean, wow, look at Albon. Look at Albon. He is right behind the Aston Martin. Who's the slower car in this train? It's going to be George Russell on the hard tyres. That's who everyone's going to want to get past ASAP. And obviously our strategies are not really throwing up nicely at the moment. It kind of just doesn't update, which is annoying, but we have to live with it. But at the minute, we're in points-paying positions. We've got Hulkenberg behind. The probably biggest threat would be Stroll in the Aston Martin. And we're going to try and just get past. We will we'll cut down eventually. <laughs> I want to keep DRS, though, because I feel like Russell is going to get detached very quickly. Don't worry, Albon, it's all good. You are against an Aston Martin and a Mercedes. What do you expect? As Porsche gets Pat Magnussen, but we're going to focus on Albon. And here we go down the straight. Will Alonso make a move? He won't. What about Porsche, though? Because Porsche is doing very well on them hard tyres. And now we are just going to conserve down. We're going to go standard. We're going to go neutral. And Porsche, I know we're going to slip out of... DRS, but I feel like we need to play the long game with the toys here because this has wrecked the strategies. Strategies are all over the place in this race now. And let's see if we can just. I mean, it's still two temps. We're not lost out too much actually here. And obviously, we've got a lot of fuel, but I feel like we can do that coming back through later on. But at the moment, Stroll is catching us. That's the car we were really thinking about would come back and hurt us. We are going to get DRS down the straight at seven temps. On lap 8, after a red flag, Aston Martin's going to pull aside, but he's not going to get us this time round. Porsche. Wow, there's a big accident. You saw that happen. Surely they didn't survive that. They did. Yuki, surely they hit the wall. That was insane. There's no way that Yuki slowed that down. Oh, my God, they did. The gravel slowed down. How did he survive? Yellow flag's now gone. And it is back racing. With Albon has lost a second now. Let's push him again. Porsche has lost a second as well. Let's push him. Let's try to close this gap. And that gap is harder to close than it is to get rid of. Because Porsche has lost a place. And that is down to the hard tyres. Magnussen just getting past Stroll. Is right behind Albon too. And we are just... 
gonna deploy to see if we can break that because I feel like that is what we need at the minute I mean we've got Alonso ahead and it's still Alonso and Russell battling it out we are trying desperately but this stroll on the Aston Martin on the softs very very quick Russell and Alonso really fighting we're still two seconds we can't really get that gap down we're trying hard but we've also got to watch these softs 1.6 now we are closing with this fuel usage but we're going to be a sitting duck for I think for this Aston Martin down the straight here we go we've got four attempts though it could be enough might not be enough we're about to find out we deploy and here he comes and there look at that breeze past us Albon is going to try and hang it round the inside and I think he's actually done a very good job of that he's defended well even though Stroll got ahead Stroll's money can't pay for a move and then he runs us out of road with that down to P11 but we're coming back again Albon versus Stroll what a battle this is and through the lower speed corners acceleration helps us out we are up again into P10 great little battle we've got to watch these tyres because this is a bit of a carnage of a strategy at the moment what is everybody on around us Russell hard softs a lot of them as well now oh, this is going to be a very tricky strategy track so nothing really has massively happened obviously strolls got us and moved two seconds ahead but the freeze in the alpha towery and I'm not sure if everyone's just using up a lot more fuel at this stage or not but he has absolutely closed the gap poor share on the hard tyres obviously trying to stretch this out would be nice obviously a lot of laps, laps around here 72 but we got a long way to go and we've just dropped our pace has dropped and you can see we're going to have to make a pit stop probably coming out on the hards I imagine to try and extend out later into this race around the final corner it's almost like we're struggling with a bit of a car park not working because we're dropping big speed around that final corner and down the straight Alpha Tauri moves to the left hand side right hand side as we look at it DRS wide open and he makes that pretty easy but Albon we've seen this happen before is going to just stay ahead but look at the acceleration from the Alpha Tauri moving back ahead of us we do try and hang it out to the right but that is a no go okay. and we are okay. sadly down I mean that is a sign Alpha Tauri getting past us so there's been a few pit stops we're in at the moment P9 because of the likes of Alonso pitting Stroll pitting and we're going to do one more lap here and then we're going to call him in but I tell you what Porsche is in P14 and we're going to just get the move on a little bit on the fuel we're going to now look to box Albon and he's going to get overtaken by the look of it as well we could go to mediums we could go to hards we could go for another set of softs potentially to do 35 to do 48 to do 57 what do we do we've got I've got a lot of left laps to do though. I don't want to go on to the soft. I'm going to go another set of softs here. That is the call. Whether it's right, I don't know. There's a car coming out of the pits. And that is Ocon. What does Ocon do? Ocon goes to softs as well. That gives me a bit more confidence. We're lapping okay. We're going to just try and deploy everything on this in lap. See if we can just push. We're going to just fast forward it as well. See if we can just look at the gap. We've got it up to five temps now as we look to come in on an in lap. Tyres running out and just the tyres are the issue, thankfully. Porsche is in P14. Hard tyres managing very nicely. He's got good fuel left and we've actually moved out to eight temps now for De Vries. We are going to come in and get a stop underway. Stroll does get Porsche. That's expected. And as we come into the pits, what sort of lap or pit time even are we going to do? It's not great. It's 2.9. We need to work on that pit crew. Got McLaren coming in behind us in Oscar. 
and now we're going to put a lot of power and try and get a very good outlap on new tyres here. For shares in P14, can we play the long game? So I tell you what, we are on lap 39. We have really pushed the pace here. Because look who we are now facing off with. It is the Haas. And this is a big move as we look to try and get past Hulkenberg. We've asked him to use the overtake coming into the straight. Man, we get itchy nose on these streams, I'm telling you. Down the straight we go. We move to the right-hand side. We've got Russell behind us as well. And we are going to get comfortably past the Haas. I'll tell you what. This isn't looking too shabby either from poor Cher. He's down in 16th. I mean, I wonder what I'm going to do with his strategy, if I'm honest. We're going to cut back on the fuel and top up as well. So, great move. What does this do? What do we do for Mr. Porsche? I mean, we've got a long way to go to use mediums. Oh, that That's what's annoying me here. This hard tyre run... Doesn't seem like it's worked, does it? Because I don't think we can stretch this out another couple of laps. I feel like we'll have to go softs. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Maybe we could go mediums. It is tricky. Because softs are not going to get to the end. Mediums are not going to get to the end. We don't have any more hards. I think we've got to do that and just hope for the best. I think that is the way of going. And we've got to see if we can just manage... To drop back. Get off this. Poor share. Is we got actually... Good point. Have we got fresh mediums? We don't even have fresh mediums, but apparently they can do 41 laps. Or is that planned on lap 41? <laughs> One of the two. But we'll continue with poor share. We're kind of focusing on Mr. Albon, because he's going to be our point scorer today if we do get anything. Hulkenberg we've dropped quite nicely behind and he's on the hard so he's still got a pit and everyone ahead of us looks like they've got a pit as well so this is not too bad I don't think we've got any more softs left so we're just going to keep this pushing along nicely we're going to keep Porsche out there as long as we can maybe he can get another one stop in I don't really want to do so crash and it's Piastri spinning but surely that's not the crash and Piastri does spin and lose it on entry and exit of turn one. It says there's a crash and there is a potential crash. And it's Lando Norris and a Haas. I mean, that's a bonus, if anything. Oh, and they both take the inside. I mean, it's a nothing crash. It is absolutely pointless. It's not even a crash. What are you even showing us that for? Pointless. We're on lap 42. Debris on track. They're not going to call a VSC or anything here. Porsche is carrying on. He's trying to get through on the mediums. I mean, we've basically compromised his race. There's, there's literally nothing about that. As Hawkingberg gets a five-second penalty behind us. 2.9 seconds is the gap to Russell. We're not lapping that strong. Russell lapping faster. Stroll's got a pit. And everyone else probably as well. So we're actually not far off a point here. But, well, I mean, we're three seconds off a point, if anything. Porsche is just trying to get through. We are coming into that pit window. But it's still pretty painful as we speak. So Porsche was struggling, bless him. He has not had a great strategy. And it's all because we put him on hards on that basically restart. I don't think that was the option at all. But Porsche is now coming back out. And, I mean, he'll be a lot happier not on them hard tyres, that is for sure. We are going to push him on fuel. We are going to just leave him as standard. And we're going to see if he can just... I mean, look at the gaps. It's horrible out there for him, bless him. But let's take a look at Albon. And we are going to come back for what is going to... I mean, we no, we've got to use a set of mediums. Maybe we just lost out on that one. But let's just quickly fast forward because we are going to pit in a second our one goes through again and now we're going to call him in so we're going to go to these mediums we are going to attack now as well let's deploy 
And it is our time for an Albon pit stop. He's in P10. He's got Stroll behind him. And it comes down to a good stop. I think Stroll has pitted, though. And he has. So, oh, I don't think we're going to get any points out of this race, if I'm honest. But we never, never doubt. You never know. Porsche managing that just fine. But it's down in P10, 19. What an awful time to be alive for Theo Porsche, especially with me at the helm. Albon comes back out, and he is in P13. We're going to go aggressive on the tyres. I don't believe that to be the curve whatsoever, because that is almost like the softs. We're going to top up on that power unit as well. So Porsche could go to the end. He's up to P18. And he is chasing down this McLaren. No, it's an Alfa Romeo ahead. Albon. That should update, but he's only 1.3. Norris is in the pit, so he's going to move up to basically 12th place. There we do. We do go past him now. We're closing in on Magnussen, but there's a big gap ahead. That is our problem. Porsche tyres bang on the line. That's fine. We're going to have to move that down to standard. Albon is in P12. Chasing down Kevin Magnussen. Alonso is in the pits. So we're so close again to a point. But as ever with Williams. It might be that we just fall short. Unless someone has some sort of accident out there. But we have really caught up this Haas. And I think the Haas is going to be a sitting dock here. Down the straight we go. DRS open. We move to the outside. And we take that position. Haas tries to come back. Cannot get that job done. And we do move up to P11. With fuel burning at the moment. Aggressive on the mediums. And actually Magnussen has still got a pit. So that is why. I tell you what. If Russell does have to pit. We are lapping 1.3 seconds quicker. And we're within a pit stop. So this is not over at the moment. I think mediums are going to be good to the end. It could come down to a George Russell pit stop. So Russell is in. Russell is in the pits. And you can see he's already swapped his tyres. So he needed this for a point. He's coming. I mean, I think he's, I think he's beat us. I don't, I don't think there's any competition here. I think he's well gone. There is a virtual safety car, though. That's interesting. Let's conserve down. What has happened? Stroll! Stroll's crashed! That's going to put us in the points. Oh, Stroll! You muppet! That! Whoa, 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 he says. Mr. Stroll could have gained us a point. Aston Martin, we needed something to happen. That is what we needed. We have conserved now. We are just going to gain that fuel back. Porsche is going to be nicely enjoying that. This is what we needed. We are up to P10. We've got Norris behind 8 seconds who's on the softs. Tyres are a bit cold. But we're just gaining fuel back. This is what we wanted to do. Mediums are fine. Mediums are going to be fine as well. We probably should have harvested as well. How long do they take to let us go though? That is the question. I mean, poor share has got a chance of getting Sonoda. And then it's all about trying to... We're only six and a half seconds off Russell. So as we harvest everything here, under this VR, VSC, we're going to be able to push to the end quite easily. And it's only going to be 6.4 seconds to catch Russell. But Russell's on the softs. So I don't think we're going to catch him. And this is a long safety car, virtual safety car. And virtual safety car is now ending. So we can go attack. We can go push. We can do a bit of everything now. Surely them tyres are okay. It is go time. Here in Zandvoort. 15 laps to go. Surely they're going to be fine. There's no way they've followed that curve. I just don't think the curve's working. And virtual safety car has now ended. So Albon in to the points. DRS is enabled. We've got to try and close that gap to Russell and that's come down I mean it's all over the place I'm not sure it's a bug because of the VSC 
Because that is now 4.2. And it's going back up and going back down. So, actually, I think we've got a bit of a chance here. Uh, catching him, 3.3 seconds is the gap. We're taking so much time out of him. It's going back up now. So, maybe just slow warm up on them softs for Russell. But at the moment, it is lap 59. And we are. We are looking okay in P10. But even though poor Cher, he's just been overtaken. He is pushing and he's been overtaken. We'll put him on pushing fuel as well. Still 5.3 now the gap. Russell has stretched clear on them softs. So we don't necessarily need to really go mad here. We've got the Ferrari of... Who is it? Carlos Sainz behind us. We've just got to manage this because a point is a point against the Haas. So it is the final lap. Nothing's really happened in these last 10. And poor Cher, we've kind of absolutely threw under the trolley with the strategy that we picked for him in the end. But I tell you what, with that late Lance Stroll crash, it has helped us. Because we are going to return to the points with Mr. Albon. And that is a great return for Williams. Verstappen wins. But, I mean, we've been lapped. But we are going to come. I mean, even Verstappen lap Russell. 14 seconds behind, though. It doesn't matter. Alex Albon with a one point. The most vital point that we could get. And that is a terrific result from Zandvoort. We will take a point every day of the week. We will. Don't chuck your finger out. Oh, God. They're such a baby. But there you go. Alex Albon taking one point. In the championship, Ferrari taking another win. Going, I mean, Red Bull did close the gap. And look at that. Five points is the difference now. 485 to 490. That is a fantastic battle. We do get a point. Alpine taking 10. Williams taking the one. And that puts us three points ahead then of Haas as we look to stay where we are. So a good point in the bag. We didn't get both drivers to top 15, unfortunately. But we have got a nice chassis upgrade and we did do a little small design this week to try and get that a bit further so hopefully for round 15 we'll be ready to go chasing in monza